The presentation I created is on bioterrorism, specifically the problems with bioterrorism. An overview. Bioterrorism has been a worldwide problem for the past centuries and it has only gotten worse throughout the years. This is something that really isn't talked about as much as it should be in the media, in my opinion. Bioterrorism is the intentional release of a virus, bacteria, or any other type of germ with the sole purpose of sickening or killing people, livestock, and or crops. The biological agents can spread in a variety of ways, which include food, water, and by air. So this is a this is like a deadly pathogen that can be contaminated by any sort of way. Issues regarding bioterrorism. Like mentioned previously, bioterrorism can cause major problems when it comes to the health of people, their crops, and livestock. Bioterrorism can eventually lead people out of businesses or worse, kill them. If a deadly pathogen attacks a crop or a livestock, it can seriously affect the business of, let's say, farmers or people that depend on their livestock and crops for source of income and it could eventually kill them which is 10 times worse this has been a serious problem since 1347 and again i feel like this isn't something that is talked about as much as it should be potential solutions according to the authors of bioterrorism a public health perspective the responsibilities of public health agencies are surveillance of infectious disease Detection and investigation of outbreaks, identification of ethological agents and their modes of transmission, and the development of prevention and control strategies. When I was researching the topic of bioterrorism, there was two major solutions that popped up. One was a detection program, and was one. The other one was like a prevention program, which is kind of the same thing. They're both go hand in hand, trying to prevent bioterrorism or at least detect when a deadly pathogen is about to attack. This can be kind of difficult for a detection programs can sometimes mess up and get like a simple virus mixed up with a deadly pathogen such as a bioterrorism attack. So this is something that it sh that should be improved which could be a major solution in order to take down bioterrorism as a whole. Three interesting facts about bioterrorism in the United States, all 50 states have already developed response plans against bioterrorism, which again, response plans should be improved quite a bit more in order to really start to see a decline in bioterrorism attacks. One of 10 organisms are enough to infect humans and animals. An Ohio man in 1996 tried to obtain bubonic plague cultures through mail. In conclusion, Bioterrorism is something that should be talked about more in the media. I cannot stress this enough. Whenever I first started my um, research and my topic about bioterrorism, I went up to my parents and close friends to try to get like a better idea on bioterrorism, and they didn't even know what that meant. Like, this is a serious problem, and most people don't even understand what bioterrorism is. Like I said before, this has been a continuous problem since 1347. And while there has been solutions in order to stop bioterrorism, there really hasn't been a, a major solution that has really made an impact on bioterrorism, or I, I couldn't find any. The problems caused by bioterrorism can shape shift the world if it is not stopped. So this is something people should start looking into because it's a serious problem. Like... People can send a deadly pathogen over and attempt to kill someone or ruin their business. Like, for example, people thought that the coronavirus was sent over by the Japanese or the Koreans or something in order to affect us, the Americans. Stuff like that. These are the references I used throughout my presentation. It was only this... uh. One quote I used from a public health perspective uh, article I read online seemed like a good source to implement in order to 
further explain the solution about the detection programs and the surveillance and all that.